Hello, welcome to Economic Dispatch Section 8. We will learn how to create admittance matrix and impedance matrix. Suppose there are four bus. We would like to calculate the current I1 by using Kirchhoff current law. I1 is the summation of all current flowing out from bus 1. To calculate the current in a transmission line linking between buses, for example, I1 to, we can calculate it from the multiplication term of Y12 with the voltage difference of V1 and V2. Then we will replace all flowing out current with the multiplication term of admittance and the voltage difference. I2, I3, and I4 can be found by the same manner. Then rewrite it in a matrix form. We call this matrix Y bus. The diagonal element is the summation of all line admittance linking with bus I. The other element is the negative value of line admittance linking between bus I and bus J. After finding Y bus, we can calculate bus impedance matrix from the inverse matrix of Y bus. Write voltage equation in matrix form. If bus impedance matrix and currents are known, we can calculate the voltage at each bus. Let's learn by doing an example. There are three buses and two generators at bus 1 and bus 2, whereas bus 3 is a load bus. Line impedance are given in green color. The line resistance are too small so that they can be neglected. Change the line impedance to be line admittance, which is the reciprocal of line impedance. Then find the diagonal element. Let's start with Y11, which is the summation of all line admittance linking with bus 1 in the green color. The value of Y11 is minus J31.01 per unit. Then find Y22 and Y33 in the same manner. Next, find the other elements. Let's start with Y12, which is the negative value of admittance of the line linking between bus 1 and bus 2. The value of Y12 is J20 per unit. Then find the other elements, Y13 and Y23. And then we will find that Y31 equals to Y13 and Y32 equals to Y23. Finally, we have all elements in Y bus matrix. Put them up in a matrix form, then calculate the bus impedance matrix. Let's do another example. Considering line resistance, the line impedance is a complex number. First, find the line admittance, which is the reciprocal of line impedance, shown in the red color. Find each element in the same manner and put them up in a matrix form of Y bus. Then calculate the bus impedance matrix. 
in general why bus is used in power flow calculation whereas bus impedance matrix is used in fault current calculation in conclusions we should find line admittance which is the reciprocal of line impedance then calculate element in y bus y i i is the summation of all line admittance linking with bus i y i j is the negative value of line admittance linking between bus i and bus j then calculate the bus impedance matrix thank you for your attention please stay tuned for more clips